I told you he knew. I told you he was listening in. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're so dead. No, we're not. No, it's the whistle that's on us, not the growler, not the heavy breather. The rest, the whistler. This is fine. Okay. This is somebody What's else. What's your name and why are you calling in? I love it. <laughs> I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one safe. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do you accept requests? I love everything about this list of names. I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. Oh, a sacrifice to us. I mean, <laughs> I love it. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Nothing like sacrificing Goddamn. cheese dusted pretzels. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to deal with Not them. Yet. I want to deal with that. That's some fun. We also want a mega call. Okay. Okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. Okay. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying Wait. inside with your doors and windows locked. That just killed those kids? Are those kids going to go out there and meet me outside a gas station that are never going to show up? I might have killed some kids there. Oh, boy. We got to think about our... Uh... Our word choice more carefully. Y'all are letting me just do stupid things like murder children by sending them to wait for me at a gas station knowing damn well I'm not going. Yes. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. The Bird. I mean, The Word. Peggy. The hell was that? Word, word, Kids word. To be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around word. here. Word. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. With a we murderer! We already have another call around the line. All but right. it could be a real Let's murderer this time. So I'm going to turn down the music real, real low. So that we can all listen very carefully to see if it's... The kids are the murderer! All right, caller number murderer, you're I on. I should take this call. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. Oh, right. I need the sheriff right away. Right. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. No cops, can't do. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh my god. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. It's actually happening. Oh boy. A jazz run? Uh, where are you now? Where are you now? Did you All those weird so questions. Safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. I jazz read. Somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Okay, can you go back and find your key? Sounds like you lost him. I think you beat. No, don't stay there. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends? Oh, here? we're gonna lose her. Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Girl, you need to move. Oh. <gasps> 
Wait. Uh huh. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. Okay. You're gonna have to help me. Uh, wait, wait, I don't. Uh, uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Ah! Uh, don't call me back. Call the mechanic. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. We're so calm. Hosted by me, oh, Forrest boy. Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. I'm in trouble. Mechanic and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. Nope, no record this spinning. This out to you, Sandra. She is about to die. We heard the number, I mean, the whistling man in the background. I don't know why I named my own movie. Um, I need, what's this? Yeah, that is not going to help me. That's cool, though. Not going to help me right now. Hold on, let me play a song. This is for all you oldies out there. Get down with If You Dare. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Who cares? They're... They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. That's why I read you murdered. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. What? The offices are out the door and down the hall. I don't want to go out there. I don't want to leave. I, d I don't want to. I didn't even know I could leave. Oh, no. Oh, no. Last time I left, I heard whistling, and it was just not good for me at all. I'm going to explore a little bit, make sure there's nothing out here that I can actually use, like a weapon, a taser, preferably. A bunch of coffee stuff. I mean, it's really cool that I get to actually leave the room. I was not expecting that. I thought I was going to have to stay in the room the entire time. Down the hallway. That's a bathroom, so that's probably not it. That's another bathroom. I'm not getting in there tonight. No, we are not. How about this one, though? Sorry. Sorry. Uh. Uh, is it you guys? So many locked doors, so few keys. You guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Manual. Well, it's not a manual. Uh. Let's see here, Timberline Twins, Creepy Hour, Craft and Work, none of this is what I'm looking for. Let's see here, 2020, Volume, GC High wins the big game. I'm looking for something to do with mechanic stuff. Let's see, we can all agree that the flavor profiles of Chala Kubra are the best in town, despite being a pricey option, offering no deals. Burrito, that's great, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see, that's not it either. We are looking for something about mechanics and cars. K Gilling Spree ad. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Help me out here, y'all. What are we looking for? This looks like a toolbox. Wait, wait, what's this? No, put, 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 put this down. I don't, I don't, oh God, I don't know what I did to examine this. Hold on. It's E, it's your basic E button. Ah, uh, what else, what else, what else? What about this? I can't even read that. You can put that down. How about this? This is also scribble. Can't read any of this. You? AFM. I don't. That's scribble to me. That's that's nothing. This has to be important. Ah, twins! I brought your car theft magazine. Those huevos, huevos ranchos aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Car theft magazine. Bathroom, we gotta go to the bathroom. I can't sprint, so we're just gonna take a nice jazz run. Don't put that down. I'm still getting used to the controls on this. Gotta go to the bathroom. There's a magazine that needs to be read. Hopefully they didn't use it as wiping paper. Uh, That's not opening. How do I get to in here? Cheese? My cheese traps. Hey, do you know where the keys to the bathroom's at? Nope, no you don't. Uh Hmm. Borrowed a magazine. Top hits. From below. I'm looking for one particular magazine. Something about Ah, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I need another bathroom. Ah, bathroom! Here's another one. Magazine? Magazine? Theft? I'm so excited to find a theft magazine. Is that it, though? It don't look like it's it. How about you? Stop clicking that! Theft? Theft magazine, please! Please, theft magazine, I'm trying to save a life here! 
Please help me with the- Ugh, don't pick that up. This must be the wrong bathroom. Is there another one? Uh, uh, excuse me. Scream? Uh, I don't like that. I don't know why we're graffitiing that in the stalls. No. How many bathrooms do we have? That's it. Wait a minute. Those are all the bad. Okay, hold on. We need to drop this. Get out of my way. Ew, okay, what's this? Useful. Excuse me. Get out of my way. What the hell? Oh. Bathroom doors can lock. That's not a good thing. That's going to terrify me. All right, let's look at this. Inside, keyless entry techniques. How do I, um... Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, step one. Use the screwdriver as a key. If that fails, remove the steering column cover. Step three, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. If there's a four before... A th oh, my gosh. There's a four before a three and a number seven in the number... Red and blue. If there is a six anywhere and it doesn't start with a five, green and brown. If there is a zero at the end and a three, it doesn't come before a six, red and yellow. Now, strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. If the radio turns on, it won't turn off. Cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. I hope I'm not supposed to remember this. If the alarm is sounding, cut the triple braided green wire, not the double braided green wire, or the quadruple braided green wire. Doing so will mess with the electronics. She screwed. She is extra screwed. Place items in the tray to hold while on calls. Place items in the tray to hold them while on calls. What tray? This tray? Oh, that's cool. Okay. I think we're ready for the call. You just let me know when she's calling again. You find anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Very well, specific that one. Sounds perfect. Time to turn the music off. I'm not looking forward to this. It seems like a very complicated ask. Caller on line one. Thanks, oh boy, Peggy. here we go. We're back with 189.16, the scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? How are you holding up, Sandra? What a question is that? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Okay. Uh, put the screwdriver in. Put twist. The screwdriver in the ignition, and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. Uh, I. Uh, screwdriver's too fast. That's okay. It. Step two. What Move next? the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. I don't know, but read some numbers okay. to me. Covers off. Fuck. There's a bunch of wires. Oh, down okay. Here. Yep, yep. Oh, God, my heart is pumping. Okay. You're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. Yes. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. We got to repeat that. Oh, 576-894-320. If there's a 4 before a 3 and a number 7 in the number, 4 before a 3. And a number seven in the number, which there is, then we need to do red and blue. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue oh, I hope that's right. Twist and turn and... Oh, oh, oh it won't turn off. Oh, don't listen to me. Yeah, it's radio. Three pink wires going into the stereo. What do we do? Cut the left pink wire. Cut, Cut the left the one. Left wire. Cut the hell out the left one. Oh. Oh. That was high intensity. Well, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to pass out. Oh no. Oh no. He's walking toward the car. Oh, what do I do? 
Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Stri Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take oh, the I just and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. Was that the right one? I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Um. Strip the purple wire and twist until they expose. Brush it. Brush the hell out of it. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> yes! Oh! Fantastic oh. work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. I'm sweating, y'all. That last one was a guess. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Oh my get god. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. You all are too calm. I am sweating. That second did it. wire, I guess. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited no jokes. to share with you. We don't need to make And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Get the station take it plug away in. For us. Yeah, I will take it away, buddy. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh, I would have been so sick if I was ready when you said it. How about a little bit of 198X? Precursor to P90X. Hit us with it. Time to go on the journey that is. The last <laughs> processor with their hit song, 1980X. Hit it. I still can't believe this is happening. Right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. With a terrible really? name. Miserable? Uh, it's nothing personal. Peggy, be honest. It's nothing personal, Peggy. Let's not be too mean. Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Friendly, oh, usually. I ran out of time. To know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I hear they got great food. Um, I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. That was a flirt. Not terrible. I'm after flirting. A while. High praise coming from Forrest Nash. Thank you. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for. I think you're swell. Anyway. I hope the killer is done for the night. Me too. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Ah. Can we at least call off that stupid ah. guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I'm not done. I I was this close. You caller saw it. I was one. so close. I don't really want to talk to a caller right now. I'm busy perfecting my shot. Look at this. Look how great I am. As soon as I... I, that that touched rim. That was rim. You can't deny me the rim. It, it, rim, rim touch. Hey, big shot. Hit the button and God. take the call. Dog it. I'm busy. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. What? You just told me to take the call. Wait. I can only shoot right Evening, for some caller. reason. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Dang it. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Oh. All right. Hey, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Hey! Here at Ponty's Pizza. Thanks, buddy. Wow, Brian, that's really good of you. Got it. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals. I'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. Odd oh, choice of words. Oh, no, no, no. Pure choice of words. Yeah, buddy. 
Are you done? Um. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. Keep on plugging away. Great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. <laughs> God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. You have 34 Ponte. listeners. Hey, on him. I love Dad, that. That's hilarious. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. We just did. Now, we getting paid from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Uh, I don't even know how to talk on the radio. Uh, no. Nope. In flight check time. Oh god, Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Well, I can do that much. At least Deadly Master of Martial Arts exclusive promo tape. Uh, what about what about this one? What about this Star Spangled Banner looking one? Harvest Festival. Now nah, I just need to find the a cassette, cassette player. player. Is on the desk in front of you. Right. Just uh, about the I know what a cassette player looks like. I've used a cassette, used the cassette player. It's in the dock nearby. Yeah. You don't have to tell me twice. I am in the area. I know I am so close to finding that cassette player. Hmm. Cassette hit player. Hit to open the player, then stick the tape in. Ah! Then you, you just gotta skipped hit play. a step. You didn't tell me that I had to eject some things first. Here we go. Uh, uh, eject, 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 eject. Aha! Here we go. Okay, you didn't tell me this. This is not part of the pre-flight check. You gotta tell me all the steps. I told you I didn't want to do this. Please. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, hmm. a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Oh God! Cartwright, Can we stop Teddy this Gallows one? Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he's- I don't want to play this one. It seems like a political guy, and I don't, I don't really get political. I'm not really all for that whole political mess. Do we have to finish this one? I'm going to put another one in. How about, how about, how about, how about, how about I put another one in? We don't, we don't need to listen to this crap. Let me put this over here. Here you go. Uh, what about this one? This one seems more fun and appropriate. There we go. Let's have fun. It's like 12 a.m. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then, step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. Eh. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. Ah. The power of the alligator. I mean, the discipline alligator. of the tarantula. Tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The, the tuna. The scorpion. Wow. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861 USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Nice. Well, I'm Never happy for you. Forget the element of surprise. If you buy today, you'll receive two additional Oh VHS gosh. Tips, the tornado technique and karate love making. Call today. All right, is he done? Is that it for Zach? Because I don't want to hear it no more. People really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I was, they I mean, said. Wisdom of a them, bullfrog. I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. What? Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Lost it. Well, you brought up lovemaking. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. I don't want a next caller. Y'all always bring trouble. I just want to play music. That's all I want to do. I'm just a radio show person. Nobody called me with no 911-ish.
Hey, on a completely random note, I didn't even, I wasn't even keeping count. It's crazy that they were keeping count. I mean, if I were to keep count, I, I, was, I was thinking like six or seven, but I made 13 baskets from the desk. I'm the killer the with this trash can. I need to take the call. Stop talking to me. I'm busy. Uh, Welcome to the scream with me. Oh, we Forrest got into that one. Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Uh -huh. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And oh boy. Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another oh, one? Oh, not another one. I barely survived the last one. Uh, I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. You should. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Yeah, Sheriff Matthews I'm is dead. dead. Ted, what happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? What the f- I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Just do what's Never going on with that. you, dude? Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Sure. <laughs> Get worse every yeah, day. they do. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Uh, I don't think it's a team, buddy. I don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. How do you know? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I oh, here we go. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Set in the boardroom. Do you think you can take the whistling man? No, I do not think you can take the whistling man. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to. I do thought it. you didn't believe that, that it was a whistling man. Heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Hmm. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. You need... We need to do something. A diversion. A what? All we can do from here is... A diversion? Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Sure, put him on our trail. We set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy Marie's time. Buy Marie's time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Oh, we're giving Sorry, it a few Maurice. seconds. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're going to need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Uh, is he about to email it? That's it, never mind. You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't... Let me down. No promises. Already confused by the whole fax machine thing. There's still more to do here before I can leave. There is? There is? Is the fax no, machine up Forrest. here? The I, I want- machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Oh, okay. I just guess I need the words. Uh, I was one step ahead. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Uh, I see Grab it. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This is the office, right? The yeah, definitely in here. Okay. Fax machine, fax machine, this fax. Must be it. Oh, boy. 
Oh, this seems like work. Be here. See, archives, extension one, kitchen. Wait, hold on, let me see. Archives, yep. Kitchen, two, cubicles, immediate right of kitchen. I see that. Office, no, editor space is three. Okay. Boardroom is four. All right. A office space immediate left of boardroom is got nothing. So I'm just going to have to assume it's five. Seems simple enough. Don't know if we'll complete it in time for him not to get gutted, but we'll definitely try our best. This place is falling apart. This place is falling apart. Here we go. Thank you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, did you get the fox? I did. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. Did you get my facts? Yeah, you did a really good job for such a quick time. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. I may let you go okay, with the wolves. Folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh, well, if he's moving down, he's in office space right here. Office space. Call. I guess call the editor's office, right? Number three, because that puts him further away. We can move him down the hallway towards the stairs. So call the editor's office. Yeah, try the editor's office. We'll draw call him the editor's office. far the away. Is zero three. Got it. And hopefully I'll bring him out. When you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to the kitchen. Yeah, that's your best bet, I guess, are the archives. Either one, really, if you can get there and not die. I'm going to say head for the kitchen because there's weapons in there at least. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Oh boy, here we Fine. go, y'all. Fingers no. crossed we did something good. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Stop talking so loud, buddy. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then my move slowly actually quickly I'll call when I get there. oh man i hope this doesn't go wrong i hope we did the do right you think thing he'll there. make it okay i have no clue I'm sure he'll be fine but now what do we do we gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade right the filing cabinet mean? barricade i don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy maurice enough time to move those cabinets we gotta think of something else yeah maybe we could oh calling coming you ready no but let's do it Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. This is nerve wracking. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which right. the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly. Or quietly. Can you fight him? That would be stupid. Maybe play dead. That'd be stupid. Can you lock him in a room? That's the best bet. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Hey, that's a fail then. Able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Okay. I would love that. What have you got back there? 
juicy secrets about outer space? Focus, Peggy. Not the Peggy, time, buddy. I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. I see the secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Could have told you that. We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Don't have to leave him in there somewhere. Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait. Use a radio. Don't use yourself as bait because you ain't getting out. You'll be stuck in there with them. There's a TV in there. I don't know what good that would do, but hey, we're on a radio station, so. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Um... Screen fan? you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream, Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show? Not what I thought I was going to say. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty Forrest. That's I low. did it. Oh, you idiots. Sorry. Focus now. That's my, you're right. I, I should have focused. The radio should still be here. I take that L. It should be in the archive. Actually, I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. I don't know how you're gonna do that and not die, but good luck, buddy. We're gonna save him for us. Stop it. Don't jinx Heck, him. If this works, we might even save the whole town. This is gonna go bad. I can tell already. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Okay. Nash, hello. Nash, are you I was there? quick. I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Right. Nerve wracking. It works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins. First. Everybody's so calm during this murder spree. Wait. Oh, God oh here it comes. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I have a plan. The room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. I've Wait, got a plane. We're the radio. That's right. We can just be quiet until you're ready. That's right. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. Plus, I just said it 30 seconds ago. earlier self-advertisement, Nash... I don't think that's necessary. You're welcome. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Um... All the archives. He would have to come back out. Yeah, that seems kind of dangerous. Call the kitchen. Don't want him to go where he's at. Call the boardroom. Seems like the best bet is to get him to the boardroom. If y'all are feeling good about that, I'm feeling good about that. Last guesses, last chance to say something, go to the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. Yeah. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Well, let me have a think about that now. 
We haven't seen the killer go there yet. Let me have a think again. Right now, he's in the editor's office. We need to lure him away from the editor's office so that... Wait, where is old boy at? Okay, so here's the thing. If old boy is actually in the secret archive still... I don't know. This is dangerous. Uh... He's been in the kitchen, though. We already know that. We've heard him say he's been in the kitchen before. So why would he go back into the kitchen? It doesn't make sense to send him to the archives. I don't think, because that's going to be closer. He's going to have to unlock it. Yeah, I say the boardroom still. That's the make... boardroom. The extension is That zero makes the four. most sense to me. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm not, but let's I'm do sure. this. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. Put the blame on me. on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Unless Any he gets caught. what you'll say to draw the killer in? Nope, not gonna insult him. Uh, Fake advice? Mr. Russell? Why would we impersonate Mr. Russell? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, pal. That's a pretty uh, good impression. I'll give you an A for effort. That was Ooh, pretty good. That was spot on. Here we go. Oh, please don't die. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Yep, I see them. Really far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Oh, don't ask me to do this. I don't know, man. Hide in your cabinet. Hide under the... Don't hide under the desk. Hiding in your cabinet may be the best bet. Hide inside the secret. Don't... Don't hide in there. Hide among the cubicles. You're going to get spotted running out. I'd say hiding in the cabinet is probably your best bet, buddy. Hide in your cabinet. That's all I got right. for you. That's all I can do. Well, this is it. Either that or your desk, but I'm I just... I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. I'm gonna turn everything we know down. the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. I almost clicked. Uh, that? No more hiding. I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Is this working? Is this terrible plan working? Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! Peggy, hands up! Hands I'm up, Peggy! Honest, I can't believe it either. Come Thank on God, now! It's over. You're impressed! I'll be off you're a little now. impressed! You helped a little bit, but you're here. impressed! Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think nope. about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. I need a break. Here we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. 
Let's all take a deep breath. So like we and just play some killer tunes. We just told him to get mad at us. He definitely knows that we helped set him up. So if he escapes, we're done. Game over. Killer tunes. I got just the one for you. What have we not played? How about uh the the hangups? I don't think we've played the hangups yet. Just for you ladies out there. Hit it! Dead air is a crime, Forrest. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>